Hi Pisces, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everyone is well. Uh, we're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Couple things here before we get started. I have opened up personal readings again, so if you'd like to request a personal reading, uh, details are below. I've also um, started my giveaway again. I, I am giving away one free personal reading each month. To enter, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment, all right? So if you'd like uh, to enter the giveaway, uh, good luck. Let's get started here with your reading. I just pulled here three uh, messages uh, from the Hidden Truth Oracle. This is the Hidden Truth about uh, how they really feel about you, okay? So this could be somebody here that you have in mind, uh, probably uh, most likely someone you have some history with, okay? So getting a couple more shuffles here with the tarot and we will get started. Let's just uh, cut the cards here. All right, here we go. Make sure my deck's not up down, upside down. Thank you, angels and spirit finger guidance. What's the, the hidden truth here for Pisces about their person? What's the hidden truth here about their person? What are they thinking, feeling, right? What's the truth here in the situation? Okay, so the first card we have here is the strength card. We've got strong Leo energy. We got the ten of cups there. And we have the ace of wands. Okay, and bottom of the deck here we have the lovers, Gemini energy. We also have here Aries, uh, Sagittarius, and we also have Cancer, Scorpio, and your energy, Pisces. And um, again, strong Leo energy. Okay, wow. There's a very strong connection here between you and this person. So this person definitely feels a connection with you. I do feel like this person, I feel like they're holding back a little bit, okay? They're holding back a little bit here. They're excited. They're happy to be with you. I kind of feel like the, you may be feeling like this person is taking things kind of casually is the energy that I get there, okay? So uh, we'll see how this progresses. Let's pull some more cards. What else can you show Pisces, okay? I feel like this person... <clears throat> Before I say anything, let's pull some more cards here for you, Pisces. Okay, so we have here the Three of Cups. We have the High Priestess. We have the King of Cups, okay, and the World card, okay. I'm getting the energy here, Pisces, that this person, I definitely get here that they have feelings for you. However, I do also get the energy here that they're um, kind of playing it cool is almost what I see here. Now, I'm going to say here, I do feel like there is a possibility here, and this is only if you know this, if your person's dating or two of you aren't in a commitment, I do feel like this person maybe could be socializing or talking with other people. So let's clarify the cards but i definitely feel this person's interested in you pisces i feel like um they have feelings for you they do have genuine feelings for you but i feel like they're almost holding back right kind of uh keeping things casual at the moment why is the three of cups and the strength card here please why is the three of cups and the strength card here please all right, so we have the two of wands. We have the emperor, strong Aries energy. And we also have strong Cancerian, your energy, Pisces, as well on the board. Okay, and we have the ten of cups, all right? And bottom of the deck here we have the three of swords, okay? So some of you I feel like there there is, uh, this person could be talking or seeing somebody else. I'm just gonna say some of you, you know, definitely could be a third party situation. And I'm even gonna say for some of you Pisces, you this person could even uh, be married, okay? With the emperor here in that 10 of cups. Now, I do feel like this person here is trying to figure out right? If they're dating, right? If they're seeing other people, um, 
I feel like this person is trying to look at how, you know, look at their feelings here. Now, it's someone here who's not sharing a whole lot because their energy is coming across as the Emperor and the King of Cups here and the High Priestess. So it's showing me they're being very secretive about their emotions and their feelings. And if there is a third party situation, I'm going to say the truth there is truth here is they're trying to hide it. OK. Um, you do have the Three of Swords, so some of you, there may have been, uh, with the Six of Cups, there may have been a past situation uh, that was where there was some heartbreak or some hurt. Some of you, this could be an ax, some of you, right? This just could uh, signify that this person has had some past heartbreak and also definitely if you're in a third party situation, okay? But it's showing me here too with the world card. There's some sort of new cycle here that's about to get to, um, about to happen here. So let's pull, um, actually before I do that, let's clarify the Ten of Cups and the High Priestess. Why is the Ten of Cups and the High Priestess here, please? Okay, we have the Devil card, Strong Capricorn. Temperance, Strong Sagittarius, and we have the Moon card. Okay, and we have the Hierophant. So some of you may, um, I'm just going to say, I feel like for some of you, you have strong Taurus energy. This may be somebody, I'm going to say, who is being secretive, okay? Um, either they're being secretive about how they feel about you, or I feel they're being secretive about another relationship or somebody here that they're seeing or talking to okay so i feel like i said this person is at a crossroads they're trying to figure out how they feel what they want okay maybe feeling like they're stuck in a situation is what i get here okay there's your energy here pisces so maybe feeling like the timing i'm just going to say maybe feeling like the timing could be off for some of you if this is an x you know, may uh, be feeling like they want to reconcile, okay? There's a lot of emotion here. Just going to say, there's a lot of emotion here. This person is still attached to you. But the question would be, is this person attached to somebody else is, is the energy that I get there. And that's not going to be everyone. So I just want to make that clear, okay? Because I do feel there's an energy here around a relationship. Why is the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups here, please? Why is the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups here, please? Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the King of Swords, okay? And bottom of the deck here, we have the Four of Swords. So you're definitely on this person's mind. I'm going to ask, um, you know, definitely, are they going to reach out? I'm also going to ask what their intentions are. So let's see here. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and you have the King of Swords, right? So I feel like your person is doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting here about how they feel about you. Again, King of Swords energy, they're coming off detached, all right? They're not sharing a whole lot emotionally. As I said in the beginning here, I feel like your person here is definitely, uh, you know, keeping things casual. But I do feel like this person here feels, right, like they have some time invested into you and they're kind of, you know, I almost feel an energy of them weighing their options here, right? What, you know... Should they invest completely here in this connection or not is what I get here. So let's see here. Um, is this person going to reach out to Pisces uh, soon? Is this person going to reach out to Pisces soon? Okay. And it just may be there could be a little bit of distance or maybe you're feeling this person is distant or some of you I feel this could be an ex. Okay, so we have here the Five of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups and bottom of the deck here, we have the Ace of Swords. So yes, I do feel like there's gonna be some communication. There's a little bit of conflict here, okay? This person's in conflict about their current situation, I feel, how they feel. Some of you, you may, some of you may have had an argument with this person or there was a third party involved, okay? Definitely see that here with the Five of Swords. You have the Knight of Pentacles here, 
okay? So you may be feeling like things are at a standstill or things aren't moving here, but it's because your person's trying to figure things out. And I'm going to say with the Six of Cups here and the Ace of Swords, I definitely see communication here coming from your person. Your person's just trying to look at the higher picture or the bigger picture, <laughs> the higher picture, the bigger picture here is what I got. Let's uh, see what their intentions are coming towards you. What's this person's intentions coming towards Pisces? What's this person's intentions coming towards Pisces? Okay, T uh, two of cups, mutual feelings there. Seven of pentacles, like I said, they're trying to figure out whether you know they want to invest fully here or not, but let's see what this third, the chariot, okay. And the Emperor. <clears throat> okay, Pisces. Strong Aries energy there. I'm going to say with the Two of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles there, and the Chariot. This is someone I feel here that um, they're quite clear about how they feel with you. Like I said, oh, look at that. Look what's below the Emperor. We have the Emperor and the Empress, okay? So they see you as just right. They see you as their partner here. Look at that, Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love there, all right? So I feel like you're going to get communication from this person. Um, I'm going to say if you know that your person is married or in another relationship, okay, um, just be aware, okay? They haven't left that relationship but if that is not your story here, I feel like this is someone who has equal love for you. Okay. They're just they're just holding back, right? Protecting themselves. They're not sharing how they feel here. All right. Um, but I do feel like this person, you know, if they're not in a third party situation, meaning in a relationship or married, I do feel like this person has good intentions. So let's see what your hidden truth uh, messages are here. Okay. Okay, I wish I could share my good news with you. Yeah, so this person, like I said, it feels like an energy they're holding back or maybe you're in separation with this person. You came closer than anyone, right? So um, if you had an ending with this person, um, it just may also be that you have been the closest, right? Especially with this Two of Cups here, right? About... This person may be opening up, right? Maybe being a little vulnerable um, or maybe even being in a relationship. You have here, I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, this person's energy definitely shows that this person like holds back, right? Definitely holds black, back and it feels like they, they don't really share a whole lot about what they're planning, okay? Like life plans, um, you know, as far as you and this person here. So Pisces, I do feel like this, you're going to hear from this person. I do feel if they're not in a third party or relationship, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. But if they are in a relationship, I don't feel like that's going to change uh, right now. So I hope this reading helped you, Pisces. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.